what's up everybody and welcome back to another blu-ray collection update and unboxing if you all don't know me my name is david and i review movies over at cinemadeviant.com i started doing this as a way to give people a heads up as to what's coming out now and in the upcoming weeks as far as blu-rays and dvds go um we have a pretty good amount to take a look at today so let's just go ahead and get started um here we have the three stooges big box of nyucks <laughs> over 40 perfect hours of the three stooges uh three stooges are definitely you know they're, they're a favorite of mine uh i grew up watching the three stooges uh, and of course just like everything that i watched back in the day i thought it was so new and innovative and come to find out obviously uh it was uh reruns that i was watching so the three stooges were a big part of my childhood uh let's go ahead and pop this open okay so it does come in like three separate volumes here okay all right and this cool booklet too some really cool information there. Uh, it looks like some uh, some profiles on the Stooges themselves. Shemp. This is really cool. I like this. And then the timeline. That's really awesome. Okay. And then we have here uh, a six movie set. Looks like those the movies that are included. All right, I'm gonna pop this open. Hmm. Okay, cool. And it does, thankfully, they do come in, uh, you know, with, with this uh, little insert here, so you can. They're not stacked discs. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> uh, that was a big, uh, a big thing that that I didn't like. You know, that that Mill Creek does uh, every so often. And then here goes the front, back, and spine. All right, for this one. This one and this two is in there. Uh, all right, and then here goes another one. The Masters of Mayhem. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. <laughs> Open this one up and see inside. Okay, cool. This one and this two. You can see there. And uh, it's just a bunch of shorts, it looks like. And there's some cartoons on here, too. That's really cool. And then there goes the front, back, and spine for this one. All right. Why I oughta. Of course, they're there. <laughs> and this one is whoop, 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 the Sultans of Slapstick. <laughs> they're so funny, man. I used to love doing, uh, you know imitating them with my cousins and, and things like that and then okay cool all right so it does come with a digital code and i'm going to go ahead and show it now if you guys are interested in picking that up uh or, or you know redeeming it go ahead and just comment down below in the comments if you already redeemed it so that way everybody else knows uh not to try for it we'll do it one more time just in case all right so yeah enjoy some three stooges guys Especially if you've never seen the Three Stooges before. Alright, so... Wow. Alright, so then... This is another uh, one, two, three, four, five, six discs of uh, of Three Stooges stuff. This is really cool. Okay, so it does it says it features uh, the new Three Stooges cartoons. The complete series. Wow. Okay, all 156 episodes. That's crazy. Um, hey Mo, hey Dad. It's a nine part nine part documentary series, which is really interesting. Uh, Stooge classics, four short films plus two unaired TV pilots. Wow, I'm very impressed. I am very impressed by this. Insane. Okay, cool, man. I'm gonna be watching the Three Stooges for a while now. Then, awesome. Okay, and uh, yeah, so uh, this set here, this. Big box of nyucks <laughs> is available now uh, from Mill Creek Home Entertainment. All right, so next up, we have The Voice of the Moon, which is out now as well from Arrow Academy. Again, Arrow uh, always puts out really good quality stuff, man. So I'm, I'm excited to check this out. Uh, stars Roberto Benigni. All right. If you guys don't know what it's about, you guys can pause that there. I was just trying to get the the wrapping off to 
take away that shine, that glare. All right, I'm gonna pop this open. All right, it does come with this really cool booklet, as you can see here. This is the back of it. Bunch of photos. This is just a whole lot of photos. <laughs> and there goes some like uh, production notes and things like that. A little essay. Really neat. All right. And then here we have. Straighten this out. All right. The Blu ray version on this side. And then behind it, the DVD version. Two different disc arts, which is awesome. And then just like every Arrow release, they do have an alternate cover you see there that's really cool I like that I do prefer this uh, this new artwork though it looks really nice really really well done I like that a lot all right and then here goes the front back and spine for the voice of the moon which is out now again from Arrow Academy really cool awesome all right let's go to the next one next one is a classic if you guys have not seen this you haven't lived I mean you have to if you haven't seen this you got to see it at some point especially with the holidays um, you know coming coming around and this is miracle on 34th Street this is the 70, 70th anniversary edition um, and this one is out now from 20th Century Fox home entertainment you see there really nice because don't know what it's about if you haven't seen it at all Pause that. Special special features are there as well. All right. So let's see if we can scrape this open. All right. This is really cool. And it and I was thinking it, it had a slip cover. This is actually a cool like slip case. So that's pretty neat that they did that. All right, and there goes the front there, the back, and it does have a digital copy. And no interior artwork, which is to be expected. Some really cool disc art that's not just a copy of the cover, so that's appreciated. All right, and then here goes the front, back, and spine for a Miracle on 34th Street, which is out now from 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment. Really cool. I'm, I'm excited to, to show my kids this. Um, they, I don't think they've seen it at all. So this is going to be a, a one that we're going to be popping on really soon. All right, next up is Bushwick. Starring Dave Bautista and Brittany Snow. Uh, this one is out now from RLJ Entertainment. They've been putting out some really good stuff lately, man. I, I've been really, really impressed by R, RLJ. Uh, and really cool slip cover here. As you can see, it's textured on this side and embossed. And then all of this is embossed and textured as well. And so are like the stars and all this stuff up here. Um, it looks like Batista. No, Batista is not textured at all. Uh, but yeah, that's really cool. Even the, the names up here are slightly embossed, which is really neat. All right. If you guys don't know what it's about, you guys can check it out there. And there's a special feature as well. Now, this one looks really interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to pop, pop this one in pretty soon. Um, I haven't seen it yet, but Batista's been doing really well for himself lately. And it's pretty surprising, uh, to be perfectly honest. But, uh, you know, and seeing him, I guess, having a, a lead in a film, I'm, I'm really curious as to, to, you know, see how he does. All right. Pop this open. All right. So there's no digital copy or anything like that. Um, the Blu-ray is on this side, and then DVD is on this side. Fantastic, and I'm glad that, that they did two different disc arts uh, because sometimes, obviously, you know, it, it can get kind of confusing sometimes, especially when you're trying to look for the little Blu-ray logo and the DVD logo over here. Um, done it numerous times where I popped in a DVD. I'm like, why does this Blu-ray look crappy? <laughs> anyway, and here goes the front, back, and spine for Bushwick and like I said this one is out now from RLJ Entertainment alright really looking forward to this one definitely alright next up 
<clears throat> Blood Feast. And this one is out now from Arrow Video. Now, uh, this is uh, this is directed by Herschel Gordon Lewis, which uh, Arrow Video, uh, uh, I guess previously, had put out like this big set um, of, of his films, and it was really, really impressive. And um, I, I saw a couple of them, and I was like, okay, this this is pretty cool. They're, they're really old school, but really bloody, really gory. So, that, I mean... If you if you're a horror uh, aficionado, uh, if you're a big fan of horror, you're definitely gonna love these films. All right, and it looks like they're starting to, to release them, you know, one by one individually. Oh, the disc popped off of this one. Okay. Okay. So if you guys don't know what it's about, pause that there. All right, let's put pop this open. Now, uh, surprisingly, there's no uh, there's no booklet. That's, I, I want to say that's almost like a first for uh, for Arrow, but uh, but yeah, that's okay. They always put out great great quality stuff anyway. All right, so Blu-ray on this side, uh, DVD copy in the back, two different disc arts, which is really cool. And then of course you got to check out the the alternate cover. I kind of like that one. I kind of like that one. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty cool. All right, that's really cool. I dig that. And then here goes the front, back, and spine for Blood Feast, which, like I said, is out now from Arrow Video. Boom. Moving right along. War for the Planet of the Apes. This is uh, the 4K Ultra HD version. This one is out now as well from 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment. It does have a 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray and digital copy. You can see here, two hours of exclusive features, including, uh, the, what, 20 minutes of deleted scenes? All right, if you guys don't know what it's about, you can pause that there and check out the special features as well. All right, so this movie was, uh, this movie was really good. I liked it. I like all the Planet of the Apes movies, the newer ones, uh, especially. And, um, you know, this one, um, you know, it progressed the story really, really well, I thought. The one thing that I did that kind of, uh, I guess, caught me off guard was that the previous movies are a lot more serious uh, in tone. Um, this one had a lot of humor thrown in. Um, and I think maybe the humor should have been dialed back just a little bit in certain spots. But uh, I think you need a little bit of comic relief in, in, uh, with a story like this. But um, I, I just, I was hoping, it, and it didn't. I was hoping that, that it didn't get silly. Like, I was kind of like, oh, are they going to keep doing this the whole way? But it didn't, get, it didn't get, like, really stupid silly or nothing like that. But really good movie. Really great, uh, uh, you know, progression to the story, I thought. And I want to see more. Like, I want to see it lead right into the original Planet of the Apes. And I hope that they're doing that. It's my understanding. It's my understanding that they are. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, I thought Woody Harrelson did an awesome job. All right, yeah, let's go ahead and pop this open. All right, let's come with a digital copy. And we have the Blu-ray on this side, very standard uh, blue disc art on this side, and then the 4K Ultra HD on this side, which is pretty, pretty, uh, pretty standard as well. You know, just has the logo and it's just black, so nothing too, too exciting. And then there goes the front back in spine for war for the planet of the apes which is out now from uh 20th century fox home entertainment i was very surprised that uh you know normally they put out steel books uh for for uh these movies and they didn't they didn't put out any sort of a uh, special you know exclusive editions or anything like that that was very surprising to me uh correct me if i'm wrong but i i'm pretty sure that i didn't see any sort of special uh special version out there for War of the Planet of the Apes, unless they're, they're trying to, you know, maybe they're going to uh, make people, I guess, double dip later, maybe, I don't know, um, alright, next up is Annabelle Creation, uh, this one is out now from Warner Brothers Home Entertainment, Annabelle, uh, this is the sequel to, uh, to Annabelle, <laughs> and uh, basically just given uh, the origin of the doll, um, these movies are really fun. I, I'm I'm a, a fan of these Conjuring movies, uh, the Conjuring universe movies. 
I, I just didn't want every Conjuring movie to be made just to have its spin-off. You know what I mean? Like, I, I wanted there to be a purpose for it. And so far, they've been doing pretty well. Um, the first Annabelle movie, I didn't find it, like, super scary or, or anything like that. It, it wasn't, it wasn't uh, outstanding to me, to be perfectly honest. Uh, this one, however, I thought it kind of... I will say that it took me about three or four different times to, like, start it. For some odd reason, I just kept getting busy, and I and that's not to say that it was boring or anything like that, but it, it was kind of messing with me by the fourth time I tried to start it, and I was like, okay, let's just get this over with. So I popped it in and watched it, and I was very surprised at um, how, how good it was. It really was really good, and uh, they, 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 they bring it full, full circle uh, from the first Annabelle movie. I had to go back and rewatch the first Annabelle movie to really get you know, the connections in certain spots. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, that's right. They did do that. Oh, or that did happen. Uh, but if you remember, if you, you know, had seen the uh, the first Annabelle um, film, like, fairly recently, I think you, you'll, you'll really enjoy this one a lot more. Uh, they, they really connect the dots. I'll say that. But it's really good. All right. And then, if you guys don't know what it's about, check it out there. All right. And pop this open. I, this was already open. I had to, <laughs> to review it uh, soon. But anyway, here goes the digital copy. And nothing too extravagant in the inside. Very, very basic. Uh, disc arts. Pretty <laughs> the same. This one's a DVD and the Blu ray on this side. I'm just thankful that they put the little logos in, in different spots. So not to cause any confusion, you know? And then here goes the front, back, and spine for Annabelle Creation, which is out now from Warner Brothers. Home Entertainment. All right. I really like the, the, this movie. And Oh, and then there's also a little tease for the next, uh, the next you know, film in this Conjuring universe uh, in the movie somewhere. You, you'll, you'll spot it. It's fairly easy to see. But uh, I thought that was really cool that, how they kind of add like little, little things like that, little nods. Uh, anyway, next up is The Glass Castle. This one I've been looking forward to watch. Uh, been looking forward to to pop in and watch. Um, it it looks really great. Uh, I've seen the trailer a couple times and it looks very very intriguing. Um, if you guys don't know what it's about, you guys can check that out there. Special features as well. They're really tiny. All right. It does come with a digital copy. And, uh, again, just like the other one, nothing too extravagant with the inside here. A uh, basic, you know, grayish Lionsgate uh, disc art here. And then uh, for the DVD. And then the Blu-ray on this side, just the blue disc art with a reflective logo. And here goes the front, back, and spine for the Glass Castle, which is out now from Lionsgate. All right. Moving right along. All right. So th this next one is a show that... I loved, I loved a lot. Um, you may have already seen an unboxing uh, on a previous video, but we'll just go ahead and kind of run through it real quick because this is really one of my favorite uh, favorite shows, recent shows anyway, and that's Westworld season one. Really cool, and this is, uh, as far as I can tell, the, the first 4K TV show out there, and the first 4K uh, release for HBO. So that's really, really cool, really interesting, and uh, I, I find it really cool that. That this is a show that they did that for. You know what I mean? Um, the landscapes on there are awesome. They're gonna look. They look awesome in 4K. They they really do. Uh, it's really cool. It does come in this really cool collector's tin here. You can see here. All right. Pop it out. Open. Let's help come with this uh, little episode guide. And it's a really cool booklet as well. If you want the full, you know, unboxing, uh, there is a video, maybe about two two videos back, um, that show everything about this. It's really cool as well. If you guys don't know what it's about, pause it there. All right. So definitely, I, I highly suggest and recommend picking up Westworld. Uh, fantastic, fantastic show. A lot of mystery and drama thrown in there. All right. And that one uh, is out now as well from uh, from Warner Brothers. Next up is Cars 3. 
All right, Car Speed, this is the 4K Ultra HD version. Uh, this one is out now as well from Walt Disney Studios Home Entertainment. It does come with 4K Ultra HD, Blu-ray, and digital copy. Now, Cars 3, um, I really liked it. I thought it was awesome. I, I thought, you know, it really brought everything full circle uh, for, for the franchise. Uh, I didn't like 2 that much. But, uh, yeah, if you want a full unboxing, you know, there is a, another video on that as well. We'll just go ahead and kind of run through it real quick. Uh, all right, does come with a digital copy. Put that aside. And then, all right, so this is the cool part. Um, here goes uh, the Blu-ray copy on this side. Uh, 4K disc on this side. As you can see here, two different disc arts. Awesome. And then the bonus disc underneath. Uh, Blu-ray as well and different disc art really cool. I love it when they when when they do stuff like that It is a uh, stacked on top of each other. which again. I'm not a fan of but it is blu-ray So blu-rays are a lot harder to scratch uh, So yeah, I think that's okay But all right, it does have this really cool like reflective Thing effect on the slip cover here Which is really interesting. Anyway, this one is out now from uh, from Walt Disney Studios home entertainment uh, next up is another uh, group of, of, uh, of movies that I've already unboxed on, a, on another video as well. So we'll just kind of run through them. Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice Ultimate Edition. This is a uh, Best Buy exclusive steelbook. This is a brand new steelbook uh, that has just come out. It does have the art of Jim Lee on the cover, which is really cool. And they each have art on the back as well. That's really nice. I like that. I like this one a lot. And then Suicide Squad Extended Cut. Uh, this one, I don't know who did the art on this one. I, I still haven't found out. If you, if you guys know, let me know in the comments below. Because I really would like to know. Alright, and then art on the back as well. Pretty cool. And then Man of Steel. This is another Jim Lee uh, done steel book. It's Best Buy exclusive. And then art on the back. Really neat. Alright, and then next up is Home Alone 2. And this one is out now from 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment. This is the 25th anniversary edition here. I love Home Alone. Um, these were these movies I, I watched like over and over and over as a kid. Um, and I just wanted to be Kevin McAllister. I did. I just wanted to get left somewhere just so I could like start making all these traps and stuff. I mean, who didn't want want to make all these traps, booby traps and stuff like that? Uh, I think I went through a, a, a phase after watching Home Alone, especially the first one. That I booby trapped my house, and I was I I, I pissed off my mom a lot. <laughs> I'll just say I'll leave it at that. <laughs> All right, so here goes the back here. This is a Home Alone Two: Lost in New York. This one was really good. Um, you know, usually sequels um, tend to tend to be mediocre. I really like this one a lot. This one was really really fun. Uh, let's go ahead and pop this open. Check it out. And then after Home Alone 2, we started getting the really, really mediocre Home Alone sequels. All right, it does come with digital copy. All right, so it's fairly standard. Here goes the DVD copy on this side, Blu-ray copy on this side. Same disc art, but it has that, you know, Blu-ray strip at the bottom. So you won't get confused at all. All right, and then here goes the front, back, and spine for Home Alone 2, Lost in New York, which is out now from 20th Century Fox. Home entertainment. All right, this one's gonna be another fun one to watch uh, during the holidays with, with my kids. That's that's gonna be a really good one. Uh, next up is Atomic Blonde. As you can see here, this one stars uh, Charlize Theron and James McAvoy. I have not seen this one at all. Uh, I'm really looking forward to checking it out, uh, just because I like a good action movie every now and then. Now there were some people already telling me uh, that it wasn't so great, um, so. I, I want to. I'm really, uh, you know, itching to check it out so that way I can make my own, you know, my own decision on that. But uh, this is the 4K Ultra HD version. It does have 4K Ultra HD, Blu-ray, and digital copy. As you can see here. And then if you guys don't know what it's about, pause that there. And then special features as well. All right. does have digital copy 
Okay, interesting. Here's uh, the Blu-ray copy on this side, which is not the usual um, universal disc that they do. Uh, usually it's like reflective in the background and then blue on the bottom, and then just has the logo. This is all black, which is, looks really cool. I like that. They should do their, you know what? They should do their, their standard Blu-rays just like this. I think I would, I would dig that more than just the plain Jane, uh, you know, reflective background and stuff like that. And then here goes the 4K copy on this side, sporting some disc art, uh, shows Charlize Theron. It is basically the cover there, but that's okay. All right. And then here goes the front back and spine for Atomic Blonde, which is out November 14th from Universal Studios Home Entertainment. All right. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to checking this one out. If you guys have seen this one, tell me what you guys thought of it in the comments below. No spoilers, please. <laughs> and here I have another copy of Atomic Blonde Blu-ray copy that I'm going to be putting aside over here for a giveaway that I'm going to be announcing very, very soon. So definitely be on the lookout for that. So that's all I got for you guys today. Um, don't forget to hit that like button if you dug any of these titles at all. If you're thinking about picking up any of these titles, there will be links down in the description below. You guys don't have to pick them up through there, but if you do, it's greatly appreciated. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well because I have more videos coming. Uh, another part to my uh, whole 4K Blu-ray DVD collection uh, is going to be coming pretty soon as well. So be on the lookout for that. And with all that being said, we will catch you next time.